Hello dear friends, in this video tutorial I will show you how to use the animated drawing art Photoshop action. Uh, first of course we need to open your images in your Photoshop. I have uh, two examples, cool man uh, and uh, a petal car. Uh, on street. Uh, first, of course, we need to install our action. How you can do it? Go to action panel. Uh, if you don't see this action panel, go to window and find actions menu. Go to right corner and click load action. Find uh, the our action animated drawing art and click install and this action will appear on uh, this action panel okay i have installed my action i have only one action to cre for creating static and animated uh, drawing effect cool go next uh, let's see uh, how we uh, uh, how resolution uh, have this image go to image image size it's too big maybe for for example maybe it's too big for creating a uh, the animated G format and I need uh, I must to reduce it for better performance of my Photoshop and for my video tutorials yeah. My recommendation uh, use a mage from 1500 pixels to maybe 3000 pixels. In my case maybe I will use 2000 pixels on with uh, side. Okay, uh, go next. Uh, of course, we need uh, to be sure that we have. Uh, open our image as default layer with name background with log. For example, you will open a PNG format like this and uh, you have a layer uh, with zero. How we can convert this layer into default layer in Photoshop? Just select this layer, go to layer, new and background from layer and Photoshop automatically uh, convert your main image to basic uh, default layer with background and with log. Okay, after that we need to be sure that we have RGB color and AB sports channel and of course we need uh, use only English version of Adobe Photoshop. Cool. My image is installed and uh, I'm ready to uh, for using my animated drawing art. Just uh, select the action from action panel and click play. We need to wait a little bit. And of course, if you want to see the animation, you must open the timeline panel uh, for plain action, for plain animation. And if you don't see this panel, go to window and find timeline menu. And after a click, you will see this panel into your Photoshop. Okay. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, our image is ready. Go to the timeline panel and as you can see, uh, you don't have the animation yet because uh, the foreground layer is basically static image. You can turn off the final static results Let's see. You can turn off and play. Cool. Let's see. I have the animation. 
and if you want to add a particular uh, animation uh, for your image just turn on this layer click on mask layer uh, select a brush soft brush or hard brush as you wish and draw over this layer and you will get a custom animation on your image let's see uh, as you can see I have the animation of my painting of my drawing only on on the car and around I have a static cool you can uh, see layers you maybe want to uh, see more more effect like as uh, oil painting for this uh, you need to turn off stroke contrast and overall draw contrast okay and as you can see I will I, I have more like uh, oil painting on this image and of course you have the animation but in this case if you want to create another custom animation for these results and for example you want to see the animation on the car and static image around the car you need to select all these layers duplicate it and merge it and you will get a static image after that uh, just duplicate a mask layer or you can uh, create another mask layer and draw over the car to get as animation cool let's see Photoshop calculate each frames and uh, yep it's our final animation so finally uh, you need go to file export and save for web legacy select a G format and uh, very important moment if you want to uh, infinity looping you must set the looping uh, option as forever from once to forever okay go the next uh, image all the same steps be sure that you have uh, a default background with log uh, RGB color 8 bits per channel and let's check our image resolution oh very big and let's reduce this image size maybe uh, 1500 pixels it's enough for this example uh, go to the action panel uh, select our action and click play I like this photo Let's wait a little bit. Don't worry about performance here for Photoshop uh, because I record. I'm recording a video at my Photoshop. Uh, work a little bit lower. On your computer it will be more faster okay all the same uh, things all the same steps uh, highlights contour and oops sorry I forget I have final static results okay you can turn off uh, as you can see I have a cool 
oil effect, oil painting effect. After that, you can add a contrast for maybe a little detail, uh, and you can erase it or create uh, a mess clear as you want. And let's see. Cool. Okay, my animation is ready. Uh, let's export as GIF format. Uh, before, maybe uh, I must reduce my image again. For example, 900 pixels. Go to file, export, say for web legacy. Uh, don't worry about if your Photoshop uh, like a stack, a stack. Uh, don't worry about this moment. Photoshop calculate as each frame uh, this animation and to write into the cache. Don't worry, you need to wait a little bit more. Okay, if you want infinity looping, go to animation, a looping option and set from once to, to forever and click save. Okay, and you will get a WSM uh, drawing art animation. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Bye and enjoy.